so let us make a video on uh, the morning pranayam the morning breathing techniques this is part of formula 44 formula 44 if we recap is about four elements of food and nutrition which are one fistful of nuts two helpings of fruits three glasses of warm water early in the morning when we get up but slowly not in one gulp and the fourth element is our lunch and dinner should have sufficient quantity of grains and pulses and lentils and uh, and vegetables and salads so these are the four elements of food which has to be consumed every day food and water let's talk about the four elements of exercise so the first element is one hour of meditation now meditation is the most important no doubt about it and how we have been teaching meditation is that we bring the form of the worshipable entity in our mind so let's say we worship Sri Krishna as the as the preacher of Bhagavad Gita so we bring Sri Krishna in our mind if we are a devotee of Lord Shiva we have Lord Shiva in our mind and if we are a devotee of any other form of supreme entity supreme power we can think of that power but along with we also have to have the the connection with our mentor our guru so the best meditation is to meditate on the guru and the supreme so this is the object of meditation and the physical aspect the best is to sit in padmasan so this is padmasan cross legged lotus pose and then a a good gesture the mudra so this is gyan mudra the index finger and the thumb they are together and they are resting on the on the knees and the body is erect body is still preferably we should sit in a place which is airy and now we can begin the first pranayam which is like a warming up exercise this is called bastrika pranayam so how we do it just raise your hands and bring them down for example so let's say we do it 10 times now the rule is when we have inhaled and taken the hands upward the stomach has gone outside stomach has protruded and when we have brought the hands down the stomach has contracted so this movement of stomach is the most important let's do it five times So this is like a warming up we can do it 10 into 3 times 30 times and keep coming back into the lotus pose yarn mudra with eyes closed we do the meditation and no other thoughts are there in the mind we for a change are focusing on the supreme entity the creator the sustainer the destructor and the mentor the teacher the spiritual master who has guided us on the path of positivity on the path of spirituality on the path of <coughs> bliss and peace on the divine journey so that was the bastrika pranayam the bellows breathing 
and you can see your shoulder moving up when you do this bellows breathing but the main you know the focus of uh, discussion today is the omkar pranayam so what is this omkar so omkar the short form is om the om which is also called pranab is the is the sound with which the creation begins as per the vedas the holy bible also says in john 1 1 that in the beginning it was the word the word was with god and the word was god there is a statement something like that i mean the word is supposed to be the starting point of the creation and in the vedas also it states that when god the supreme entity decides to do the creation so there is prakriti which transforms into mahan mahan transforms into ahankar and in the next primordial form the nature has this entity called sound and that sound is om which is made up of a u m so there are three syllables a u m and how the chanting of a u m is when we say a it is with the mouth open a so if you keep saying a and take it to the extreme the sound emanating from the stomach this is the first syllable the next syllable is u and here the mouth will contract in a circle and the sound will come from the throat u and finally ma which is with the mouth closed and the sound from the palate going on to the top so i just did it for a short while but you can take a deep breath and do it as long as you can so how we should do we should do a five times u five times and mo five times in a very smooth simple enjoyable manner and after having completed a u mo five times each then we can combine a u mo which becomes om so it should be o again i did it in a short span but you can do it a longer and this is the om pranayam in bhagavad gita there is a verse which says raso ham apsu kon teya prabhasmi shashi surya yaho pranav sarva vedeshu shabdam cha parusam shabdam khe parusam nishu amazing verse in the 7th chapter gyan vigyan yog where shri krishna says that i am the taste in the water i am the light in the sun and the moon and i am the vedic syllables om which is also called pranav and i am the ability in the humans so as we have understood the supreme entity is so amazing so fascinating everything has begun from that entity and that is what shri krishna is telling in this particular verse 
Rashoham Apsu Konteya. So in Formula 44, we talk about consumption of water. So this verse has a reference of water and this verse has a reference of Om. So if we begin our day with this intensive Omkar Pranayam breathing technique while we consume water or we have consumed water first and then we are doing, we can combine the meditation, the water consumption and the breathing techniques. So three elements of Amila 44 we can do together. And this uh, fascinating story about Om. Om Ittye Kaksharam Brahma Vyaharan Ma Manusmaran Yah Prayati Tejan Deham Sayati Parmam Gatim. This is another verse from chapter 8 verse 13 where again the imperishable, the sound Om which is Swayambhu, it has originated of its own and that is the beginning of the creation, the Om and then the, the space is created and from the space the sensation of sound which was already there and from the space the air which introduces the touch tanmatra the sensation and from air the fire which introduces the form tanmatra the sensation and from the fire water which introduces the taste tanmatra and then the earth which introduces the the smell the fragrance so that is how the creation unfolds when the creation takes place and when there is dissolution the earth goes into water the water into fire the fire into air and the air into a space a space into the ahankar then into mahan and then panchtan matra and then it goes into prakriti which is a part of god so amazing amazing learning from formula 44 let's remember four elements of food and nutrition one fistful of nuts every day two helpings of fruits every day three glasses of warm water early in the morning slowly four helpings of food which is rich in organic and you know natural food and one hour of meditation two hours of walk two rounds of walk three rounds of breathing techniques and four rounds of surya namaskar the sun salutation we will talk about sun salutation in a separate video in great detail but let's enjoy formula 44 and let's do this morning breathing technique bastrika and the omkar and let's meet up again take care